Well, this was a logistical nightmare. The overpass is far off the ground and it was really only one way for rescue crews to get there. Now, the key was finding a way to free those trapped cows without letting them run loose all over the interstate or worse, jump over the edge to traffic below. 92 cows trapped in an overturned big rig high atop the Big Eye Interchange. State livestock inspectors say it was quite the scene when they got there just after 5 a.m. You got some on top of each other, smashed in there, you know, so we had to, to use the jaws of lies to get them get create openings so we can get them out of there safely as possible. State livestock inspector Francisco Lovato says they used movable panels to corral the cows down a chute and into the awaiting trucks. By this time they're stressed, some are injured, you know, we just don't know what we have at the time. They're going to come out and some are going to want to jump. They can scatter all over the interstate. The state veterinarian on scene says once one cow went over the ledge, the others might have followed. And they were trapped between the back of the the tractor and the front of the trailer itself. And when they were trying to figure out the best way to get them moved, one of them was threatening to go over the ledge, which would have taken them onto the traffic down below. Even after that daring rescue where they brought those cows from the interstate to the New Mexico State Fairgrounds, we've learned that these cows are not out of the woods yet. There'll be some chronic poor doers in this group just because of the amount of stress and the ones on the bottom of the pile had a hard go of it. State veterinarian Dr. Ralph Zimmerman says the stress level increases the cow's chance to develop pneumonia. But he says the feedlot the cows are headed to will allow them to be monitored closely. They'll get them in there, they'll hold them up and keep an eye on them for a few days because the risk of pneumonia is going to be much greater on these guys with the added stress. All the crews involved say it was the recent training they did that helped them pull off this rescue, save all but four cows, and most importantly, no people were hurt. Reporting Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News.